Hello once again and welcome back to this let blind let's play uh, of Pokemon Crystal. I am a biting gamer and in the last episode we crushed Bugsy. Almost crushed. He, we defeated him at least with some luck. But luck is sometimes part of a game, so I'm happy. Uh, why is it dark? It's only 2 a.m. on a Wednesday. That's weird, but okay. Um, I assume we're gonna get through Elex Forest right now. Hello, Paris. I already have you, so I'm not gonna capture you again. Um, because after defeating Bugsy, we got the message that, hey, you can now use the HM Cut. So, I know there's a tree up here that needs some cutting. And there's this uh, small building here that I don't know what is, but let's see here, it's uh, Tentacool who knows how to cut, isn't it? Yeah. Elix Forest Shrine. It's in honor of the Forest Protector. Okay, that sounds like a side quest. Um, sorry if you hear a noise now in the background, but that is actually some construction work being done outside, and they just started now. I had didn't know they would, so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna stop recording actually, but we'll see. If it gets any worse, then I'll just stop and return later. But so far, I think it's fine. Elix Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky, that's why it's dark. Okay, please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Hint, hint. <clears throat> okay. I'll also keep my eyes open for a Pokemon. Comes, ooh, a Weedle! I don't know, Weedle, they're cute. Hello, oh, Ghastly, can't you let's put them to sleep again and lick them? That seems to be very effective for catching Pokemon. Aw, how cute. The bug is sleeping. Lick it! Oh yeah, lick it real good. That should be enough to capture a Weedle as well. Yay! We do have po yeah, we used all our money on Pokeballs and potions, so Bugsy couldn't take any more money from us when we battled him, so we don't have any money right now. But we do have Pokeballs and potions, so yay! The Weedle was caught! Yay! Weedle's data was newly added to the Pokedex. A hairy oh, you're hairy? Oh. The barb on top of its head secretes a strong poison. It uses this toxin barb to protect itself. No, nickname for Weedle. I'm not gonna use you, but... Nice knowing you. Oh, there's an item. I was just about to say, I'm still looking for items since we're told that there's items everywhere here, apparently. But... I'm so bad at finding items that don't have uh, any... You know, that are not like a Pokeball out on the open screen thing, if you know what I mean, like in the open world. If they're not formed like a Pokeball, if they're like hidden, I will never find them. Never. Metapod, I don't want to capture you because you're a wild Metapod and that means that you only know how to harden. And I don't need uh, another Pokémon who doesn't know how to do any moves. And I'm looking at you there, useless Togepi. Okay, no items, but... A Weedle? <laughs> don't need it, I already have one. The Weedle I caught was like... Which level was it? Like level 5 or 6 or 7, I don't remember, but it was pretty high level, so only like one or two more levels it evolves into Kakuna, and then only two more levels from Kakuna again, and then you'll have a Beedrill, so... Maybe I'll do that later. Go Ghastly! Run away, Ghastly, because we don't want to fight the Paris again. They're annoying. I like them, they're cute, but they're annoying to meet. We found an antidote, which can come in handy later in this forest. It depends how big it is. This was much larger than I imagined, actually. Ugh. Okay, Weedle, where's the Psyducks and stuff? Is it because it's like day and night and now I'm playing during the day? It's like 2pm? I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. That would be kind of cool. I want to talk to the guy down there who was like taking a whiz into the trees then, so... Oh, a Caterpie, we don't have you. I'm gonna capture you. Let's see here, level 5 is good. Do your thing here, Ghastly. That's not your thing, Ghastly. <clears throat> Let's see what's your thing here. Yes, that's your thing. Enemy Caterpie fell asleep, per usual. Or per usual? It's the first time I'm meeting a Caterpie, but you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. 
Lick it. Ooh. Will I take the chance on licking it again? No, we're just gonna use a Pokeball now. It'll be caught, I guess. I hope. I keep forgetting to check out what a lure ball does. Lure... I just keep thinking Safari Zone or something. Gotcha! Caterpie was caught! Caterpie's data was newly added to the Pokedex. It crawls into foliage where it camouflages itself amongst leaves that are the same color as its body. That means people will step on you because they can't see you. That's a bad idea. But come on, dude, taking a whiz, are you going to battle me, or are you going to give me a TM that's like, take a whiz TM? I don't know. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking trees using headbutt. That's gotta hurt. It's fun. Here, you try too. Okay... Rattle trees with headbutt. Sometimes sleeping Pokémon fall out. Teach headbutt to a Pokémon? Absolutely. Togepi, or useless. You need a new move that can damage things. So, with headbutt, no, Skull Bash takes like two turns. Headbutt... I have never seen headbutt before. Interesting. Caterpie, I don't need you. You're cute, but no thank you. A Pokémon could be in this tree. Want to headbutt it? Absolutely! Useless to the headbutt. Ooh, there's a Pokémon! Can you do this with every single one of those? Ooh, what is this? Pinecone fell out of the tree. Okay. Okay. Let's give it our best shot here, Ghastly. I'm not sure. I'm kind of unsure what kind of Pokemon this is, but it looks like a Pinecone, and its name is Pineco, but we're gonna call it Pinecone, but, uh... Why is it so quick? Why is it quicker than Ghastly when he's like a Pinecone that's just standing still? I don't get it. Wow, it has a lot of uh, defense here. But whatever, it's a new Pokemon. We're gonna capture it, just for fun. Oh, I'm so happy I have Hypnosis. Snore, snore. Snore, snore. Yeah, now I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty happy that I didn't use Headbutt on Togepi, because Togepi knows how to use Metronome, so... Technically, you can also attack right now. That's good. Lure Ball, a ball for Pokémon hooked by a rod. Okay. No, no, not, we're not gonna use it now, then. Okay. We're definitely not gonna use the Pokeball, then. Perhaps this is like a super ultra rare Pokemon that we have to use Great Balls on. <laughs> right? That makes total sense. If you make me waste a Great Ball now. Oh, I am pissed! No, no, but. That is annoying. How dare you? Really, how dare you? Fall asleep again, lady. I'm gonna lick you one more time. I think you'll survive one more lick, I think. If you don't, I'll just laugh. Because you dared to break free of my only Great Ball that I have left. Oops! <laughs> I didn't get any experience at all! What a worthless, worthless little thing. Okay. Fine! All Pokémon of the world that wants to attack me, it's fine! I get it! You're here! Stop it! Stop attacking me! I'm innocent! I didn't murder your Pineco friend. Let's try this random tree then. Hello! Pokémon could be in this tree. Want you said but on it? Yes! Useless! Bump into it! Nope! Nothing. Okay. Well, there's one right to the right of us, a Pokémon, so... Ooh, it's a Metapod. No, thank you. Metapod, use Harden. Metapod, counter it with Harden. Metapod, use Harden. Can we do the bait trees? No. Apparently they don't contain Pokemon. Found Ether. That's nice to have a backup buff in case you're like way into a 
long ass dungeon and you need to you know get some more pp moves or whatever you call it it can't be pp moves that sounds so childish <clears throat> whatever oh thank god we got away safely from the hello do you want to fight don't sneak up on me like that you frightened the pokemon away yeah, right, you're lying. What's the Pineco? Because you can't even capture a Pineco, you bug catcher. Bug catcher Wayne wants to battle. Bug catcher Wayne sent out Lady Bay. Lady Ba. Lady Ba. Lady Ba. Lady Ba. Ladybug, basically. Ooh, ooh, Ladybug. Yeah, that's why it's Lady Ba. Come on, don't use Supersonic Girl. No boy. It's a male Pokemon. I said don't use supersonic, boy! Fine, I'll just murder you normally then. <sighs> Enough supersonic already. You're like a large fat Pokemon there, Lediba, so supersonic doesn't make any sense coming from you, okay. I know it has nothing... yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna stop talking, I don't know anything about supersonic. I just... When I was young, I always assumed that Supersonic was that you were just so quick that you were just, like, confusing the opponent by how quick you were, but now I'm kind of thinking it's more like something else. Ugh. God damn it. Can you stop being confused now? Thank you! Oh, I guess I need to change up my Pokémon then before the next battle. Ghastly Root level 15. Woohoo! I don't remember when he evolves into Haunter, but I guess it's sooner rather than later. Come on, Togepi, show us what you're made of. You're level 8 too, so this will be a fair fight. Okay, he's level 10, but whatever. I gotta use you sooner or later. Can't you just, like, Fire Blast or something with your metronome here? <laughs> I can't wait. Togepi used Crab Hammer! <laughs> It's not very effective. Thank you very much, Metronome. Critical hit? Of course. Use a fire attack! Come on, Togepi! Sludge Bomb! What is this? It's super effective, at least. I kind of want Togepi to win this one, but uh, whatever. Come on, only damage 5. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, sorry, Togepi, but it's not my fault that you're useless. Speaking of useless, do it, useless! Headbutt! Oh, it's probably gonna die from one scratch. Almost. Come on! Damn it! <laughs> my useless Pokémon are fainting like in dozens there right now. Tentacle, come on, you saved me for, um... You saved me from, uh... Bugsy, so that's not how to repay or to do that again. You know, you need to do better, Tentacle. It's the battle of the cuts and the scratches. And Tentacle won. Oh yeah. Didn't even level up, but whatever. Bugcatcher Wayne was defeated. I hadn't seen the Pokemon before. Which Pokemon? Okay, maybe Togepi? I don't know. Ghastly? Oh, I see a building. Are we finally out of this godforsaken forest? Metapod! Don't... still don't want to capture you, Metapod. So we're just gonna run away. Maybe we could use Tentacool there to level up, but... Uh, I don't... It's not gonna bother. Get away, Caterpie. Like, really, go back to Vir Viridian Forest with you. Hello! Did you see the shrine honoring the Protector? It watches over the forest from across time. Okay. I think that it must be a grass-type Pokémon. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokédex? It must be hard if Pokémon want to pair. Try using this TM. What? Okay, it's Sweet Scent. Use it wherever Pokémon appear. Pokémon will be enticed by it. What? I'm so confused. 
Reduces the foe's evasiveness. It sounds useless, but... I'm looking at you here, Hopip. Yes, useless can learn it. You know Splash, which is totally useless. We're just gonna get rid of that, right? Yes. One, two, and poof! Useless forgot Splash, and useless learned Sweet Scent. Use it wherever Pokemon appear. Well, they do appear here, so let's try it out then. Useless, use Sweet Scent. So, is it just like you can instantly meet Pokemon? Is that it? Ah! What is this? <laughs> A snubball! I love it! What kind of cute monstrosity is this? Hypnotize it! Come on, Ghastly! I want this Pokemon so bad. It was attracted to my sweet scent. I mean, come on. Look at it! It looks like a ballerina bulldog. Oh my god, it's adorable. Lick it! Fine, we're gonna have to use another Pokemon then to capture you. Uh, but who? Uh, da -da -da -da. Spinarak, maybe? No? Chikikita is too powerful, I think. We'll try Spinarak. Look at him, Snubball! I love the name, I love everything. Aww! Look at it! <laughs> he is charm! Have you seen anything so adorable ever? Because I know I haven't. I mean, my lord almighty, look at that Pokemon. It's way more adorable than a Hootoot. Sharply fell, oh, you used me into the scary face. Oh, I want it so. I don't. Oh, I only have Pokeballs left. Damn, this is gonna be difficult then. I have to be careful, I can't kill this adorable snub ball. Okay, we need to put on Ghastly again so he can put him to sleep. The more status ailments, the easier it is to catch, right? So, we gotta go for it. Come on. No, come on! Oh, it's gonna die by poison soon. Come on, please, 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 Snubball. Yes! I captured one of the cutest Pokemons I've ever seen in my life. Snubball, Snubball. It's a fairy Pokemon! In truth, it is a cowardly Pokemon. Oh, it grows eagerly in order to hide its fear from its opponents. I want one in real life. So bad. It's adorable. Steam sweet scent was the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you, useless. You're not useless anymore. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put away Togepi or something in my Poker Center box, uh, Bill's box thing, and get a snowball and just use it and train it because it's adorable. It's a normal type Pokemon then, since it's fairy, like Clefairy. Youngster Samuel wants to battle. Youngster Samuel sent out Rattata! Are we gonna use... Yeah, we're gonna use Ghastly for all of this. Or maybe Spinarak or Tentacool, it depends. I kinda want Ghastly to reach level 16. I don't remember, but I think that's when he evolves into a Haunter, so... We just have that covered, so... It doesn't affect an Rattata, of course it doesn't. I mean, why should licking a Pokémon not affect all of them? I don't know. Where are you, Spinarak? I choose you. Spinarak! Oops, I sped up the time there. Uh, we're anywhere Tata is fast asleep. Well, poison sting to your face then. Okay, you're gonna tail with me first. Ooh, okay, are you gonna shake your butt? Nope. Haha, <laughs> I poisoned you. How does it feel, computer? That you're once in a while poisoned and not just me. But it feels horrible. Na 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 na. <laughs> this is a tough battle, but I think Spinarak is gonna win it. I can't 
really imagine that I just said Tough Battle and Rattata and like... Well, whatever. Spinner Rack gains some experience points at least. The youngster is about to use Spiro. Well, they probably know how to use Peck and stuff, but whatever. We're close to a city, I feel, so... We're just gonna use Spinner Rack still. Oops, and use Scary Pace, apparently. Well, it didn't matter. Spinner Rack's out. Which is fine, I don't really care at this point. I just want to get to a city. Uh, let's see here, who else could be effective? Ugh, we only had Shigetita left. No, I don't mean Togepi. Togepi sucks. Come on, Shigetita, time to show everyone else what you're made of here. Roll bow! Spare row! <laughs> Enemy Sparrow fainted! And no, we don't level up. But we're close. We're gonna do it by the end of this battle, I think. Not a sparrow. Okay, that smells two tackles all over again. Let's see here. And a one. And a two. And a tackle. Growl. Meow. Oh yeah, we growled, so we damaged less. <laughs> That's cute. I wonder what his last Pokemon will be. Will it be a Rattata? <laughs> Most likely, right? Chikitita grew to level 23. Chikitita is trying to learn Synthesis. But Chikitita can't learn more than four moves. Uh, as far as I remember by useless, um, that's like regenerative. I never really tried it, but I saw it in combat once, so I'm gonna try it out. Regenerative HP sounds good, so. Sandshrew, absolutely, go ahead, because then I can just use Race Relief and move on. Come on, Race Relief it up. There we go, no problem, it's super effective even, so bye-bye. Youngster Samuel was defeated, beaten by a passing stranger. Well, that's what you get for challenging a passing stranger, don't blame the stranger for fighting. I'm going to train even harder, after all, I'm trying to become a gym leader. A gym leader of what, Rattatas? The Rattata gym leader? <laughs> Kinda cute, actually. Chikitita, handle this hiker for me. I just got my Pokémon back from daycare! Let's see how much stronger it got! Ooh, are we close to the daycare man? <laughs> is there one here too? What is this? Pokéfan, creepy Pokéfan Brandon wants to battle. Wow, wow, wow. Sent out Snubble! Okay, I like you after all that. Look at Snubble's animation, that's so cute. Can I trade my Chiquitita for your Snubble? No, I'm just kidding, Chiquitita. I can trade any, any other Pokémon though for your Snubble. Except for Psyduck. Oh. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I kind of have to, you know. Oh. Why does it end this way? Well, maybe. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Thank you. A Pokemon new moves I didn't know it had. That confounded me to no end. Okay. You're not really paying a lot of attention then. Oh, another trainer, of course. Well, Chikitita, it looks like you're gonna battle the best in his class of Pokémon. No, wait. We're gonna battle a guy who says he's the best in his class at Pokémon. Youngster Ion. Who sent out Mankey. It's good to know that we're going to class at least, or in at school, because, you know, it seems like everyone is perpetually out to Pokémon battle instead of learning. So, it's nice to know. <laughs> well, Mankey was no problem. Who's the next Pokemon you have? A Primeape? Sandshrew? Rattata? Diglett! Wow, you're unique, youngster! No, no wonder you're so good compared to the others. Aw, Diglett also got pretty cute. But not cute enough. To survive my Racer Leaf, you need to be super duper cute. Youngster Ryan was defeated in two moves. No! There are better trainers! And the world just came crashing down for Youngster Ryan. I'm trying hard so I can be the star in my class. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Okay, or what are you, like a lass or something since you were so calm? No, a picnicker, as a picnicker Tanya or whatever who Liz called earlier and thought I was. It's picnicker Gina who wants to battle. 
Oh, she has a hop it. Okay, then I like you. But I don't like you enough. Hoppy. Oh, this is a cute name. I like you. I'm still expecting that Hop Hip evolves into some kind of crazy monstrosity, just like Magikarp, so I'm kind of hoping that my useless eventually will not turn out to be useless. That's my goal, and that's my dream. Oh, he survived! Congratulations! Oh, and he uses Splash. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna mud stop you to death then. Oh no, it doesn't affect any Hop Hip, I knew that, kind of. My mistake. Whatever. Is it, not, is it one more Hop-Hip? Please tell me it's another Hop-Hip. Aw, a Bulbasaur, wow! This will be the first time I see him in this game. Uh, come on, my... Uh, cute enough. He's always the starter Pokémon I choose in Generation 1, so... That's not very effective against me, buddy. I'm a Grass-type Pokémon too, so... Yeah, you don't learn, do you? Well, whatever, you're adorable, and you've given me so much throughout uh, Generation 1, all of my playthroughs of Generation 1, so I'll forgive you, Bulbasaur. Big Tinker Gina was defeated soundly. Oh no, I just can't win! You're too strong to be a practice partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Want to give me your phone number? I'll call as soon as I get anything. Sure. Isn't it just good to have... Oh, I need to start remembering all of their names. Ugh, that's gonna be annoying. Daycare. Let us raise your Pokémon for you. Um... Do I have to? What if I let them raise somebody I don't really... I want to get to the town and heal up first. I'll go back, get back here. Do -do -do -do. Hello, do you want to fight? I'm a patrol for suspicious individuals. You okay, you don't want to fight, fine. I'm confident in my ability to race Pokémon. Want to see? Absolutely. Kind of. Ooh, it's a male picnicker. Camp or camper. <laughs> so the women are picnickers and the men are campers. Isn't that kind of... <gasps> you have a Psyduck. It's my new favorite trainer in the world. Camper Todd, was that it? I love you. Marry me. Like, seriously, we could race a whole bunch of Psyducks together. Oh, adorable. It's basically me in game form. Camper Todd is me, racing a crappy Psyduck. I mean, I would totally do that too. I would race one crappy Psyduck. Did I screw up on my training? Let me get your phone number, dude. Maybe I should t take one to daycare. I might be able to use some items. From here I can see Golden Rod's department store. They have bargain sales up on the rooftop every so often. <gasps> yes, you can have my phone number. Because it's basically me. So, yeah. I check Golden Rod's department store every day, so I know when there's a sale. Okay. I guess uh, that's uh, a good thing. Golden Rod City. Everything is pretty golden. It seems like everything has a pretty, like, color team in this game. Oh my, your pack looks so heavy. Oh, do you happen to have something named Eon Mail? My daughter is after one. You can part with one, can't you? Give away an Eon Mail? I have no idea what it is. What? What is an Eon Mail? The Coliseum upstairs is for Link Battles. Battles or battle records are posted on the walls, so I can't afford to lose. Well, we're never going to do that, so we don't care. A higher level Pokémon doesn't always win. After all, it may have type disadvantage. I don't think there's a single Pokémon that is the toughest. Well, say that to Mewtwo, or something. Oh god, it's a large bookmark. Uh, well, we still have some minutes, so... Mom's good at bargain hunting. She always buys stuff at lower prices. That's a woman after my own heart. I'm raring to shop again today. The department store has a decent selection, but it's some items are only available at game corner prices. Oh, there's a game corner thing here. Slot machines? I hate that. Can we steal from the red registry? Welcome, how may I help you? It depends what you're selling. You sell items. Well, you don't have any Pokeballs, which is what I need right now. 
Uh, well, actually, I want to sell some X attacks and stuff like that. I don't, I don't get what I'm going to use them for ever. No, I don't want to buy. I want to sell. Ah, sure, there's a lot of money in them, so... Maybe I should sell more than one at a time. <laughs> well, I was some money at least. I'm never going to use them, so... What about you, my good man? Welcome, how may I help you? Well, do you have great balls? Yes. Uh, let's buy at least five then, yeah. Kind of running out of money here. That's not good. Hello. Pokegear can store up to 10 phone numbers. Oh, it's hard to decide which numbers to keep. How many do I have? Pokegear. Wait, mom. Does mom count? Professor Elm counts too, probably. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two more then. I'm sorry, Wade the Bug Catcher, but you're going pretty quickly, and so is List the Picnicker, I think. We'll see who we meet later. I got my Abra at the game corner. Now it's my best partner. Why? Because it knows teleports you can get away? This department store makes me realize that Goldenrod is a big city. The selection here is unmatched anywhere else. I don't see it selling Super Balls. Ooh, hello, Liz Picnicker. Is it me, Tanya, again? Hi, Lars. It's Liz. How are things going for you? Listen, listen. Don't you think Faulkner of Violet Gym is cool and handsome? But to say his dad, who's out training on the road, is even more cool and handsome than Faulkner. I wish I could meet him. Okay, I'll call you later. She's also totally useless, isn't she? But I like her name, so... I'm gonna stick around with her for a bit. I, I, I'm really impatient. I use X-Speed in battles to speed up my Pokémon. Well, I could sell you mine, but I already sold them, so... Welcome, how may I help you? Oh, no, thank you. Hello... Hey, when you battle, do you use X-Special? It's awesome, it really jacks up special attack. My Pokémon needs no jacking up. My Pokémon are awesome. Welcome, how may I help you? Protein- oh, these things are way too expensive for me. Hey, I love strong Pokémon. I feed them protein to crank up their attack. You give them steroids too? Some Pokémon evolve only by being traded via Game Link Cable. I know of four. Machoke, Kadabra, Haunter, and um, Graveler. I heard there are others too. Iron adds to your Pokémon's defense. I don't like that Game Link thing. If, like, like as I said earlier, if Ghastly could evolve into Gengar, then I totally would have used him all game. You can't rename a Pokémon you get in a trade. The name is a really reflection of the original trainer's feelings for it. So you're telling me if I ever trade away my fantastic useless, that name is stuck forever? Ooh, sorry. Mystery gifts. With just a little beep, you can get a gift. What? Okay. Welcome, how may I help you? You're selling TMs. An electric punch, it may paralyze. A fiery punch, it may cause a burn. An icy punch. Oops, no, I don't want to buy anything. Sounds weird. No, get away. Can I sell my TMs here? I don't like Swift. I don't like Fury Cutter, so can I just sell them? Maybe I should buy the Fire Punch, and I don't know who can learn it, though, but maybe one can, that would be nice. I probably did something really stupid there, but Fire Punch sounds like something I need, so... Like, I really need a fire attack, but once I think of it, I don't think I have anyone who can actually learn fire attacks, so I was not really that smart of me. Oh, well, whatever. I collect Pokémon. Do you have Abra? You want to trade it for my matchup? No, well, I don't have an Abra, but... On Sundays, a lady comes to check out Pokémon. She even gives away TMs. We're definitely returning here on Sunday, then. And today is Wednesday. Right? Yeah. You listen to Lucky Channel? If you wanted to win, trade Pokémon with as many people as possible to get different ID numbers. Okay, if you're tired, try the winning machine drinks. Your Pokémon will love them too. Oh, well, this is the rooftop then. No girl who gives away TMs? How sad. A winning machine. Here's the menu, and I just bought a can of fresh water. 
Well, I can't afford anything else right now, anyway. Ooh, there's one more floor. Oh, the real rooftop. Okay. Ooh, I'm tired. Sometimes come up to the rooftop to take a break from shopping. Oh, wow. Will you, be, will you quit bothering me? Okay, sure. Hey, some trainers are battling on the road. A Pokemon fired up for flurry and leaves or something. That makes me feel like battling right now. These binoculars let me see far away. Maybe I can see my own house. Is it the one with the green roof? I don't remember. Hello? They have a bargain sales here every so often. Okay. Pardon? Who says an adult can't get into this? I'm going to be back every day to get collect all the dolls. Ooh, is it one of those grappling hook machines? <laughs> I tried those like once before when I was studying in Korea and I failed miserably. It was impossible to get anything. Okay, at least we checked out the department store here. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go back to the daycare man and unload a Pokemon on him. I'm not really sure which one. Uh, maybe Tentacool? I don't know. And then we will eventually explore the rest of Goldenrod City. And talk to this girl. We'll do it right now. The radio tower in Goldenrod City is a landmark. They're running a promotional campaign right now. They'll modify your Pokegear so it can also serve as a radio. Okay, interesting. But that will have to be for the next episode. We're running over time right now. So, I have been Abiding Gamer. Thank you for joining me for this episode of this Let's Play of po Blind Let's Play of Pokemon Crystal. That was really difficult to say. Talk to you in the next episode, or see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoy. Goodbye.